Hello, thanks for joining us. My name is Rafael Behar. I'm a physician scientist working at the University of California, San Diego Moore's Cancer Center, where I lead their MDS Center of Excellence and focus my practice on patients with this condition. Today, I have with me Donna, a patient who will be telling us a little bit about her experience. Donna, if you could introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Donna Aylwood. Um, I'm obviously an MDS patient. I'm from Massachusetts. I'm 76 years old and I was diagnosed in 2018 with MDS. So let me ask you about that. Um, as a part of the diagnostic workup, now many centers are getting an MDS mutation profile. Do you happen to know your MDS mutation profile and when were you first tested for it? I do. I know what um, mutations I have. I might have to read them because I have a few of them. But um, in 2017, that was when I first started having some kind of symptoms. And they did a um, rapid heme panel blood test before I ever had a bone marrow biopsy. And that showed um, SRFS2 and ASXL1. Then the following year, I didn't quite meet the criteria for MDS at that time. The following year in 2018, I had the, um, oh, I'm sorry, 2017, then I had a bone marrow biopsy and a couple more mutations showed up the RUNX1 and the TET2. So at that point I had four. Um, I've gone along until just recently, had another heme panel done. And I now have EP300, ETNK1, IDH2, and SF3B1. And I'm scheduled to have another bone marrow biopsy Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. Right. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. I'd like to highlight a point that you made there is that the, the mutations aren't necessarily static. You may have some mutations when you're diagnosed and they can change over time as they did in your case. Right. Sometimes they can change as the disease changes and sometimes they change even if the disease doesn't appear to be changing in terms of blood counts. Every time you had your, your sequence done again, was your, was your disease changing? Were your blood counts changing? My blood counts, I, I've had treatment in between too. I've had treatment a couple of years ago. I haven't had treatment for like two years, but my blood counts are now dropping again. Uh, so they've changed some. I think my doctor is concerned that the counts are low and the new mutations that it's time for another bone marrow biopsy and see if there's anything new going on or what has changed. 